How beautiful are these flowers? My friend Liv sent them to me for my birthday and they arrived yesterday just as I was getting back um, from the trip. So it's perfectly timed. Really into these guys here. So, so beautiful. Um, and also perfectly timed because I got back and the flowers that were here had obviously withered away and died. My apologies if the footage right now is really bad. I'm filming on my iPhone. Just finishing off my makeup, I thought while I finish this off very quickly, I will chat to you because I've got a lot to do today. And if I sit down and chat, I might be chatting for a while. So I thought if I do my makeup at the same time, I'm less likely to drag this on. So as you can see, I am back from the trip. It was really, really nice. Although it was only 40 minutes down the road, it was so nice to just go somewhere and have that change of scenery. Unfortunately, it did rain for most of the time we were there, but I didn't mind too much because it was actually quite nice to light the fire, sit reading, eating good food, drinking nice wine, um, and yeah, like I said, just nice to be somewhere different, to have that change of scenery. However, taking four days off during the working week, although Monday was a bank holiday, has now, it means now all of this week's tasks are basically compacted into today, Friday. So I've got a lot to do today, also hence why I am trying to do a chat and makeup at the same time, but I'm not very good at doing this especially trying to talk and do eyebrows at the same time. So today I have a lot to do, including editing, are they looking all right? Yeah, editing this vlog and getting it completed by the end of today because I'm changing my vlog editing schedule and all will be revealed in just a moment. I need to go to the tailor to pick up my studio nooks and trench coat. I need to go to the, um, where else do I need to go? I have written a list. I need to drop some other stuff off at the tailor, which I will show you. My never ending pile of things that needs to be tailored uh, because obviously the tailor was closed for so long. Um, I also am go. I have to, I've got to try and make a reel, like an Instagram reel, and I've not even played around with the reels function, so I've got no idea how it works. Like how even long is a reel? Is it 15 seconds or can it be longer? I'm not sure. Um, so I'm giving myself two hours to do that because I, I just have visions of it going completely wrong. I've got no idea what I'm doing. Um, but the big thing that's happening today is I'm moving, not house. Um, I'm moving into a communal working studio space. I'm leaving the comfort of my dining room table and moving into a beautiful, beautiful studio space with some other people. Yes, I'm going to be in an environment with other people and I cannot wait. Um, I have worked from home for years. Um, it's just the way, I guess, this job works for a lot of people. You just end up working from home. But I have to admit, I've had such a tumultuous relationship with working from home and I've just come to the realisation very late on that working from home isn't for me. I know it works for so many people, but unfortunately, I just, I don't know what it is. I think it's just the, not, not being able to separate the work, work home spaces. Um, I know lots of people have like office spaces, you know, like a room within their house that is their office space, but it just doesn't work for me. I, I'm fine with self-motivating. But I can easily distract myself and I feel like when you're working from home it's so easy to distract yourself and not complete the task that you actually need to complete. So um, I've also had, I've been living on my, on my own now for seven months and I've had, I'll be honest, I've had quite a few struggles with it. Um, I think maybe in a, in a vlog, maybe in a couple of weeks I might talk a bit more about my thoughts on living on my own because I could talk about it quite a lot as it has been quite an adjustment. And I feel like some of the struggles that I have had will be alleviated by moving into a communal working space 
because I, especially this last year, have just felt so lonely. I've felt like I've been just in such a solitary existence and I've not enjoyed it at all. And I find that I work much better when I'm surrounded by people. It doesn't even have to be many people. There's been times where I've just popped to a friend's house for the afternoon to have sort of like a, a sort of working afternoon. And um, even just in those instances, I, I feel way more productive and driven to actually get stuff done. So yeah, I, I mean, I've dabbled in studio spaces before, but I've never really found the right space. So just kind of stuck with working from home. Um, but a few weeks ago, my friend Fiona, who some of you might actually know, she goes by the name Norfolk on Instagram. She also owns a beautiful uh, sort of body care, skincare brand. I'll leave links below. She is a woman of many, many talents. And she also owns this incredible studio space here in Norwich. Um, it, it's a big space, but it's a small community. So there's not that many people in there. They keep it quite a tight community so that there's not loads of people so that it doesn't feel like this really busy environment and also so that everyone can interact quite easily and it feels more of like a, a group a community everyone knows each other everyone talks and I met up with her for a coffee a couple of weeks ago and I think she sensed I was not having the best time at home and she said that they had a desk coming up at the beginning of May um, and I was more than welcome to have it so I jumped at the chance and was like, yes, please, absolutely. I need that change of scenery. I need that feeling of being part of something and just having other people working around me. Right, I think I've put on plenty of makeup. So I'm really looking forward to this because I think it's going to really change my kind of the, I feel like I've got a really unhealthy relationship with work at the moment. And I think this will change that. I think it will also help with my mental health and just how lonely I have felt over the past year and a half or however long it's been. So that's the big thing to do today, to move my computer and all the other bits over to there. And that's why my vlogging schedule, uh, editing schedule will change because the one of the things that I find is a bit unhealthy about my work relationship, and this is what happens when you're self-employed, you blur the lines of the week and the weekend, and so many self-employed people uh, end up working at the weekend. I personally don't like doing that. There are times where it's unavoidable and you just have to work at the weekend, but I'm spending every single Sunday sat editing my vlogs, which is why they go live on Sunday evening, because I'm editing the whole day and doing the thumbnail, but just everything all in one day, and then I click publish on a Sunday evening. And the reason I find that problematic for me is because A, I don't want to be doing that on a Sunday. I want to be out doing things with my friends or, you know, just doing other things. And B, it doesn't leave me much room for error. So if something goes wrong on that Sunday, the likelihood of the vlog actually being uploaded on Sunday is very unlikely. It then either gets pushed back really late on a Sunday night, which is pointless, or it goes live on a Monday morning, which is not when I want the vlogs to go live. In an ideal world, I want them to go live on Sunday morning, and I'm hoping by moving into a studio, this will make that happen. I know I could do it here at home if I manage my time better, but I mean, I've had years of just like mismanaging my time, so nothing's gonna change that really. However, I think moving to the studio will change that because I'm less likely to go into an empty studio at the weekend and work, unless I really, really have to. So the, the my theory is, is that I will get it all done during the week, I will do the main bulk of it on the Friday, probably get it exported, upload it onto YouTube unlisted. And then on Sunday morning, I'll hit publish, which means it goes live here in the UK Sunday morning in the sort of Southern hemisphere, that side of the globe, it will go live Sunday evening. And then the other side, sort of the US side, it goes live Saturday evening. So all round, I just think that's a nicer time to upload. Um, and I really want to be more consistent with it because I feel like I'm all over the place with vlog uploads and times at the moment. and I don't like that. I know lots of people are like, just upload whenever, but I would just prefer for my peace of mind to be a bit more consistent with it. So I think this will be really, really good for that. Um, okay, that was probably a really long chat. So I'm gonna get going. I will show you the studio when I get there. I don't think Fiona will mind me filming a little bit of it. I just won't show anyone, anyone's faces. Um, but it gets so much light, she's decorated it so minimally and beautifully. Uh, yeah, it's just a really great space. So I will see you all in a bit.
Hello, I'm back at the flat after a very chaotic first half of the day. Managed to go to the tailor successfully, as you saw. Picked up my Studio Nicholson trench, which I will talk to you about briefly in just a moment. Then managed to drop off my computer and all my other bits at the studio, set up my desk, started working, only to realise I'd forgotten some very crucial elements, including my diary and all of my stationery. So I've quickly come back here to pick all of those bits up. Luckily, it's only a five minute walk away, so it's quite easy for me to come back if I forget something, but I want to get into the habit of going to the studio and staying at the studio all day and not popping back here. Like, I want to treat that as I'm going to work and I stay at work, but obviously if I need to come here, I have peace of mind knowing that I can get back here if I need to pick stuff up quite quickly. Um, anyway, trench, let's quickly talk about it because I'm really, really pleased with it. Some very minor alterations, had the sleeves taken up because they literally engulfed my entire hand. So I had those taken up a little bit and then also had the length taken up by a couple of inches. It is supposed to be a long trench. If you look at it on the model on the website, it is quite long, but it was just too long on me. I've said before, I'm five foot three, so virtually everything is always too long for me. So I feel like the proportions look much better now. It's still oversized. It's still got that sort of long, um, traditional oversized trench look, but it just looks a bit more in proportion with my arm length and my leg length now. Um... I also dropped off some dungarees, which you will have seen in the previous clip. So I got these beautiful indigo denim uh, Margaret Hall dungarees that are far too long. So I've taken those in along with some other trousers, which will be ready this time next week. So I'll be able to show you those in next week's vlog. Right, I need to get going and put this vlog together while sat at my brand new desk in my brand new environment. <laughs> Here I am in my new working space for the foreseeable. I'm so pleased to be here. I've already felt a lot better today just being in this kind of communal working environment and having other people around me. I obviously waited until everyone went home until I started vlogging because A, I um, didn't want to disturb people and B, I I'm still self-conscious about vlogging around people I don't really know and don't want people to be conscious that I'm videoing in as well, if that makes sense. So yeah, Fiona, if you're watching, it's 5pm and I'm still here. I'm editing together the vlogs because like I said, I wanted to get it done by the end of today so it can go up on Sunday morning. I will give you a very brief tour. I don't want to kind of show off people's working spaces because they're private, um, but I'll show you just like the main studio space. This is the main studio space, some nice communal areas where you can hold meetings, have lunch, sit, chill out. There's also a big meeting table here. Beautiful, huge ceiling to floor windows. And then around the corner here, it's my little desk, my little setup. Not much going on, to be honest, because obviously first day, so literally just computer, notebook, pens, the essentials. Maybe I need to get myself a little vase or some pictures just to zhuzh it up a little bit. I have just balanced you very precariously on top of my water bottle. So as I was saying, feeling really, really good about this decision, just feel like there's this really good energy within this studio space and the people within it. Already I'm feeling much better in terms of um, attitude towards work and productivity and procrastination. I think this is a very good decision for my mental health and both, both, my, both my mental health and my working health, if that is a thing. So yes, this will be where I'm working from from now on, which um, it's nice, a nice change of scenery for the vlogs considering I have obviously been vlogging within the parameters of home for a very long time. I think I'm going to wrap the vlog up here, you know, because it's Friday night, it's six o'clock, still got a little bit more editing of this vlog to go and I don't think there'll be anything else vlog worthy happening this evening. A short one again this week, sorry guys, I know lots of people were saying that they missed the long vlogs but I didn't really do any face-to-face -face vlogging on the trip because I just didn't really want to. Um, so I did that little bit at the beginning and then 
it was Friday before I knew it and here I am now. So yeah, a nice short and sweet one for you all this week. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope everyone's doing well this week. Not really sure what I'm doing next week, but I'll be vlogging. Do not fear. Um, I do have some ideas for like future vlogs to keep them a little bit varied. Well, I will do like a sort of chat on living alone and then maybe do some sort of interiors thing in the next couple of weeks as well. Anyway, I shall love you and leave you all. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you all next week.